So in my last review, or maybe the one before that, I talked about Snowpiercer, which was a movie that unfortunately did not make a lot of money, or at least I suspect it hasn't since Sorry on Video on Demand early, though it did make its budget back, I know that. Uh, but uh, now I'm going to talk about another movie which had the same flaw, which is also available video on demand, which I suggest you go watch. And that's probably the smartest comedy, not the funniest, uh, but the smartest comedy I've seen all year. And that movie is Bad Words. Now, like I said, it's not the funniest because 22 Jump Street was funnier. It was just way, way funnier. But a lot of those jokes are more on the surface. Now, like I said in my 22 Jump Street review, those there's a lot a lot of different kinds of jokes there. But uh, kind of like the long one-liner jokes, kind of like uh, the jokes in Bad Words are more kind of lo- kind of like Arrested Development jokes, the way that I would describe Bad Word jokes, where it's like, it's funny, but not like laugh out loud funny. Uh, it's more drawn out funny. It builds on top of itself. And that's kind of what Bad Words was, and it is one the smartest comedy I've seen all year, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, now, first off, the name of this is Bad Words, so I highly suggest you do not watch this with young kids, because there are bad words and other bad things in there. A lot of the jokes are sexual, or uh, or a lot of comedy comes from the fact that he can say these things in front of little kids, though I do not suggest uh, putting little kids in the situation to watch this. Now I got that out of the way, let's just talk about what this is about. Alright, so this, I believe, is Jason Bateman's directorial debut, and uh, while directing, it could have been directed by anyone, because uh, uh, there weren't a lot of impressive shots, but none of the more bad shots, it's just this comedy didn't take a lot from those shots. So his directing was... Uh, okay, but as for his overall story crafting, that was good, and he does a good job in this role. Now, it's about Jason Bateman's character who's kind of wanting to uh, get back at society, basically. Uh, we don't really know the reasons why. We learn that through the movie. But I don't want to spoil that. Uh, and to get back at everything, he joins a spelling bee and kind of makes a mockery of it by being a 40-year-old uh undiscovered genius who is participating in a spelling bee. Uh, along the way, he makes friends with a, a small Indian kid, uh, and there's a funny scene involving that very dynamic that I don't want to spoil. Uh, and he treats him like an adult. Uh, he puts him in adult situations. He basically makes the friend he never had in childhood here. And a lot of comedy comes from that dynamic of putting this little kid in this situation. Uh, what I love about this movie is that it's not afraid to say anything. It makes fun of the fact that this is an, an Indian kid. It makes fun of uh, a overweight child for being overweight. It makes fun of an old lady for being old. Obviously, to the extremes of these facts, uh, his jokes come from. But they're all really smart and witty, and it's a very witty comedy uh, the story itself actually does get kind of heartfelt. Uh, you can see him connect to this kid, and it, so you know it almost brings a tear to the eye. Not not enough to actually be there, but like, oh, that's kind of sad, and oh, that's sweet, and oh, this it's really connecting to that kid. And the and the payoff at the end of the movie, where they're doing the final uh, spelling bee, is also a very funny scene and involves one of the funniest I didn't see coming slapstick moments in a in a long time in a comedy uh, but as it just wasn't as funny as, as I would like uh, some of the jokes are spoiled by the trailer which is a problem with all comedies uh, not enough to not watch the movie because this is like I said the smartest comedy I've seen in a long time but unfortunately it's was not the funniest uh, and because of that reason, because 22 Jump Street was just so much funnier, uh, I'm going to have to take away some points from Bad Words for this, but Bad Words is still an, a really good movie. I almost was going to say excellent, but it's a really good movie that I suggest seeing. Uh, like I said, you can get it on video on demand now. Uh, my rating for this one is going to have to be uh, a B. Uh, B. Maybe a B plus. Uh, we're we're gonna stick with a B, but it's close to. It's like in between a B and B plus, 
and it's really sad that it didn't make as much money as it should have, because this sh- should have made more money than a lot of movies that opened uh, this year, including one that rhymes with Mansformers, Tage of Restinction. Because, uh, while well, I didn't hate that movie, uh, this is a much better 90 minutes spent than the almost three hours that it feels that Transformers is. Uh, so yeah, that's why I thought of bad words. If you have seen this, which more than likely you haven't because no one saw this, unfortunately, uh, go see it. Then let me know what you thought about it down below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching, as always, and I will see you next time.